Officials in California are looking into a fatal vehicle crash yesterday that claimed the lives of 13 people, and they're considering whether human smuggling was involved. More than two dozen people, including teenage children, were jammed into an SUV when it was hit by a semi near the Mexico border. The U.S. Border Patrol now says that tragic crash in Southern California, one of the deadliest near the Mexico border, was part of a human smuggling operation. Officials say two vehicles transporting a total of 44 people entered the country illegally from Mexico through a hole in a border fence. The 13 migrants who died were part of a group of 25 packed inside an SUV when a semi collided with it. We need as many ambulances as you can hand right now, right now. The crash happening Tuesday morning in Southern California, just 10 miles from the Mexico border. Mexican authorities confirmed 10 of the people involved were Mexican nationals, and the consulate is trying to confirm the identities of the other three. ABC's Kaylee Hartung was on the scene. What do you see as the biggest challenge in this investigation? Uh, really the biggest challenge is, again, identifying who all the folks were in, the, in those vehicles and, and notifying their next of kin. Officials say several seats were taken out of the Ford Expedition to make more room in a vehicle intended to safely seat nine people, but nearly three times that number were packed inside. When first responders arrived, bodies were strewn along the highway and a dozen people were already dead. Some of the victims were, were ejected from the vehicle, so it was a pretty chaotic scene. Some of the survivors were airlifted to a nearby hospital, which went into mass casualty mode. Some of them were talkative and were able to communicate to us a little bit of a story. A range of injuries are head trauma, uh, orthopedics, a lot of orthopedics injuries. The driver of the semi-truck survived. He is still in the hospital recovering. He is in communication with investigators as they try to piece together exactly what happened. Zoreen Shah, ABC News Los Angeles.